Welcome to Infigyan my dear friends. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations in this series we are going to solve one very interesting radical equation today. I will show you two methods of problem solving. So our method number one will be substitution method and method number two would be the conventional one using synthetic division and all. So let me write here method number one and here I will give substitution. So let 12 is equal to a. So our equation will become square root a minus x equal to x square minus a. Now I will take squaring. So squaring both sides I can write a minus x will be equal to x square minus a whole square. Let's apply the algebraic identity a minus b whole square. So I can write a minus x is equal to a square b square minus 2ab. Now I will target to make this equation quadratic in a not in x in a. Take all the term to RHS first. So I will write a square minus 2ax square minus a plus x plus x power 4 equal to 0. Now I will frame quadratic in a so my target is minus a if I will take common then in bracket I can write 2x square plus 1 and c will be x plus x power 4. We will consider this x plus x power 4 as constant. Now it is quadratic in a. So I will apply quadratic formula. So for which we are finding out the value for a a is equal to minus b. So I will write minus of minus 2x square. So that would be 2x square plus 1. Minus b is done. Plus minus is square root b square. So again I will write 2x square plus 1 whole square minus 4ac. a is 1. c is x plus x power 4 divided by 2a. So divided by 2 is there a is 1 okay and remember what is 2 to what is a that is 12 okay we will put this value of a at last let's simplify so i will write a is equal to 2x square plus 1 plus minus square root 2x square plus 1 whole square let me write one time whole square minus 4 times x plus x power 4 divided by 2. Okay. I will write 2x square plus 1 plus minus. Expand this one. I will write 4x power 4 plus 1 plus 4x square. Whole square is done. Now minus 4x minus 4x power 4. And divided by 2 is there. And this division is completely with the numerator. I am not putting, okay, let us put the curly bracket. Now you can see this 4x power 4 and minus 4x power 4 will be over. Now what is this left? It is 2x plus 2x minus 1 whole square, not plus because minus sign is there. Okay, this term. So ultimately what we are having 2x square plus 1 plus minus 2x minus 1 square root and whole square will be over divided by 2. Once I will consider plus sign in between then I will be having one quadratic factor or form and once I will consider the minus sign in between then I will be having second form. So let me write directly x square plus x once you will take plus sign and once you will take minus sign in between then it will give us x square minus x plus 1. And see a is 12. Now we have to solve two quadratic equation quickly. So equations are x square plus x minus 12 equal to 0. This is first quadratic and once you will take this x square minus x plus 1 equal to 12. Then we can frame x square minus x minus 11 equal to 0. Two quadratic equations. Let's find out roots. So x will be equal to minus b 
plus minus is square root b square minus 4ac. So I will write plus 48 divided by 2a. So this division is the complete numerator. So I will write minus 1 plus minus 7 divided by 2. Once you will take plus sign, then you will write 3. Once you will take minus sign, you will write minus 4. So two values are confirmed. We have to exclude the extraneous solutions. We will talk about little later. Now let's solve this one. Minus b plus minus b square. So 1 minus 4 ac. So plus 44 divided by 2. 1 plus minus square root 45 divided by 2. Now I can write 9 5 ja. So 1 plus minus 3 root 5 divided by 2. So here we are having 4 solutions. We will reject the extraneous little later. Now method number 2. Okay. Method number 2 is conventional method. So let me write method number 2. Now what I will do, I will take whole square both sides. So 12 minus x is equal to x square minus 12 whole square. Once you will expand, you will get this quadratic equation x power 4 minus 24x square plus x plus 132 equal to 0. Now with the help of rational root theorem and synthetic division, we are going to solve. So from rational root theorem, the eligible factors of the constant coefficient 132 would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4 and so on. Once I will put x equal to 3, see what will happen. 3 power 4, 81 minus 24 times 9. So it is 216 plus 3 plus 132. Check 81 plus 3, 84 plus 132, 216. So yes, this is making our equation 0. So this is our base solution for the quartic equation. Now I will use SDM, synthetic division method to find out our cubic equation. So let me write all the coefficients 1 minus no 0 you have to write cubic term is not there. Then you will write minus 24. Then you will write 1. Then you will write 132. Put one line over there. Now leading term as it is 1. 1 times 3. 3. 3. 3 times 3. 9 minus 15. Minus 15 times 3. Minus 45 minus 44, minus 44 times 3, minus 1, 3, 2, 0. These are the coefficients for cubic equation. Okay. So let me write here directly. So cubic equation will be having x cube plus 3x square minus 15x minus 44 equal to 0. Okay. Let me write here x cube plus 3x square minus 15x minus 44 equal to 0. Now we have to find out again the eligible factors of this term. So if you will find you can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 and plus minus 11. So out of these possible values let me put x equal to minus 4. So minus 4 cube, I will write 4 square is 16, so minus 64. 4 square is 8, 4 square is 16 times 3, minus, so it will be plus 48. Then we will write plus 60, then we will write minus 44. Now you can see 108 minus 108, so this value is 0. For this cubic equation, x equal to minus 4 is base solution. Now I will do again SDM synthetic division method, I will consider the coefficients of this cubic equation here. So 1, 3, negative 15, negative 44. Let us put our line there, leading term as it is, leading coefficient. Now minus 4 times 1, minus 4, minus 1, minus 4 times minus 1, plus 4, minus 11, minus 11 times minus 4, so I will write plus 44, 0. This is the 
coefficient for quadratic equation I will say x square minus x minus 11 equal to 0 and it is same equation. So I can write directly solutions from here it is plus minus 3 root 5 divided by 2. In method 1 we have already used that quadratic formula to find out this quadratics factor or roots. So far our solutions are confirmed. Let me write here our overall solutions x is equal to 3 negative 4 and then we have calculated 1 plus minus 3 root 5 over 2. Now conclusion which solution we will reject and which will be accepted. So we will let me write here 3. Now condition will be applied here. See x should be less than 12 for real solutions. One more condition we are having right hand side should be positive only. That means x square minus 12 should be greater than or equal to 0. So from here I can write x square minus root 12 square it should be greater than or equal to 0. So I can write x plus root 12 in one bracket x minus root 12 this product should be greater than or equal to 0 and similarly means if you will put one number line over there you will find out condition then you can write x should be either greater than 3.46 and x should be less than equal to minus 3.46 are the conditions to find out your true solution. That means conclusion overall conclusion is your solution cannot lie in between minus 3.46 and 3.46. Excluded this band everything is accepted. Okay let's check 3 is inside the band. So it will be rejected. Now come to minus 4. Minus 4 is accepted as it is less than minus 3.46. So we will accept this. Now third value 1 plus 3 root 5 over 2. And last value is 1 minus 3 root 5 over 2. Now root 5 we know it is 2.23. Once you will put the value this value is coming out 3.84. And this value is coming out minus 2.84. Now you can see which value is lying inside that. So this value will be rejected. And this will be accepted because it is more than 3.46. Okay. So our final solution is x is equal to negative 4 and 1 plus 3 root 5 over 2 are the final solutions. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.